Okay, so the first question is, uh, why did I make this film? Uh, my film is called Manasapna, Mother's Dream. And um, actually it was my own mother who gave me the idea to make a film about this topic. And um, she sent me the work of an American sociologist, Ali Hochschild, which was about the outsourcing of emotional services. And I was looking for... Uh, a story or a topic that uh, basically was about how different worlds and different areas are connected through um, certain dependencies um, and I thought that surrogacy um, was an amazing example of worlds being connected in a very interesting way and when I started researching about surrogacy I found out how big this uh, business has become and how much it is still growing especially in India, and how many women in India are becoming surrogates every year. And especially after I had met the women there, I decided I, I wanted to tell their stories. And it became somehow um, a story that was important to tell for me and that I wanted people to know about. And the second question is, why, which were the ethical and aesthetical challenges of it? Well, um, I guess the ethical um, ethical questions were were very important with this film because um, I think when you make a film about a culture that isn't your own, you definitely have to ask yourself certain questions like how can I tell a story about people that I don't know and a culture I don't know and how can I get to know it and get close to these people so I can be able to tell the story in the most authentic way possible. And um, for that, I decided to have quite a long shoot and quite a long research. So I went for one whole month to research by myself and then I went back for three months to shoot the film. And we spent every day um, with the women um, in that surrogate clinic and got to know them quite well. And even before shooting, we just talked and tried to figure out what it was that they were thinking about. And in the end, the film is about their dreams, what they, what they want in their future, because that is why they become surrogates in the first place, because they dream of something better, of a better future for themselves and for their children. And it is, of course, a question of how can you tell somebody else's feelings? How can you make a film about somebody else's dreams because they're so internal? And um, there we already come to the aesthetical challenges. How can you show visually what somebody else is feeling or dreaming of? And so we tried to do that by talking a lot to the women, to our protagonists, and um, after talking to them, trying to find images for what they told us. Um, we usually try to not go from inside of us and what we were thinking that they should be dreaming about, but more about what they actually had told us, um, which is hard thing sometimes to do because you assume that somebody should feel a certain way but we we definitely tried at least to to, to first listen and then react um, and choose our visual means to tell their stories um, definitely shooting in India was an amazing experience and the aesthetical challenges of course were also within that situation where there are lots of people always there's lots of noise and and how do you find the calmness within yourself and within the crew to actually manage to create an image that can transport a certain state of emotion and a certain story. And the third question is a difficult one. Why are you a filmmaker? Um, I can maybe first say what I really enjoy about being a filmmaker, especially being a documentary filmmaker, is that I get to um, meet people that I would have never met otherwise, probably would have never met. And I can get an idea of how other people live, um, especially when it is very different to my own life. It gives me a certain understanding of of situations that other people are in. and. I really enjoy getting a feeling of that. If you if you travel to another country and you're a tourist, you 
you hardly ever get into a situation like that. But if you're shooting, then you can meet people in a very different situation. And um, I think in a way for me to make a film is mainly making sense of the world and trying to understand basically other people's situations. And by filming it, um, you've got a very special situation because you've got the luxury of reviewing and reviewing your experiences and analyzing them and watching people in detail um, in their different situations and in their different um, lives that they're living. So I, I, I really get inspired by that, um, by being able to, for example, in the editing to to re-watch um, situations that I've seen and to pass that on to other people. I think essentially when I make these experiences when I shoot, um, it is hard to tell other people what you've experienced and by showing other people you kind of get to make sense of what has happened. Yes, I think that's it. <laughs>